Let's draw the angle of 135 degrees in standard position. So the first step is we're going to start on the positive x-axis. We're going to start by drawing what's known as our initial side. Okay, And then what we should do is we should now label maybe the uh, degrees moving in a counterclockwise direction. That is the positive way to label the uh, angles here. So we start at zero. Then when we rotate counterclockwise, the positive y-axis gets a value of 90. Then the negative x-axis will get a value of 180. Then the negative y-axis uh, here will get a value of 270. And then we would come back to then 360, which is also basically the same thing as zero degrees. Um, so what I now have to do is now I have to draw what's known as the terminal side. Okay, so I have to draw now an angle of 135 degrees. So I start at the initial, and I'm going to rotate since it is positive. I'm going to rotate counterclockwise. So I know that once I get to this particular point, the angle in here is 90. I didn't yet reach 135. So I have to go into now the second quadrant, right? And maybe somewhere around there, right? I'm not necessarily drawing this totally to scale, but I know I shouldn't rotate all the way around, right? Uh, because then that would have been 180. So I want to now uh, find out if this angle is appropriate in here, if this is 135 degrees, right? 135 degrees. And it should be reasonable uh, because we know that this little area in here is 90. And then we would add essentially another 45 degree angle to it. Okay. So if I had to do this a little bit more to scale, maybe I should bring this down to about, you know, there or so. But that would be the uh, final place. The final resting place, as they say. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. If you can, subscribe, like, tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.